we would fill our hands with all the wonderful things you give us. Then we'd lift them up and give them back to you. Hello everyone, I am so glad to have you back in Sunday School class with me. Come on in and let's learn about Jesus. Hello my Sunday School class, I am so happy to have you again with me for story time. On last week, we talked about Saul and how he was disobedient and how he took matters into his own hands. Do you remember what he did? Correct, he made a sacrifice to God. That was not his job, nor was it his responsibility. And how he made all kinds of excuses why he did it. He said, but the Philistines have taken our land and now they wanna make us servants. But that was excuses, he still was disobedient. So in this Sunday's story, we're going to talk about two more people in God's word. That is David and Goliath. Can you say that? David and Goliath. And the name of the story is David defeats Goliath. How do you think David defeated Goliath? Let's listen to the story and find out. David watched his father, Jesse's sheep. His father called on him to come and take food and supplies to his older brothers who were fighting against the Philistines and Saul's army. So David left his sheep and did as his father had asked of him. Now, when David arrived to the camp, he heard about the challenge that the giant Goliath had made. One on one, Goliath would fight any man in Saul's army to the death. If any Israelites were able to kill Goliath, then the Philistines would become servants to the Israelites. But if Goliath would kill any of the Israelites, then the Israelites would have to become servants to the Philistines. And David began to say with a loud voice, he said, who is this man that is making fun of God's soldiers? Why aren't the soldiers standing up? And his brothers tried to make David be quiet. But David kept asking why someone would not fight Goliath. He was making fun of their God. Someone needs to stand up for God and challenge the Philistines. The soldiers who heard him reported to King Saul. So he sent the young David. When David came to the king, he said, I'm not afraid of Goliath. I will go and fight him. David knew that God would give him the courage to fight the giant. Saul replied, you cannot fight this giant. You are too young. David told the king how God had helped him to kill a bear and a lion. This giant will be no problem for God. So Saul gave this young man his permission to fight the giant. Saul put on David his own armor and he gave David his sword. But David was not able to wear them, so he took them off. David took his staff and chose five smooth stones from a nearby brook. 
and he came into the field of battle. Goliath saw him and he headed toward David. When Goliath saw that David was just a young man with no armor or sword, he made fun of David and he cursed at him. The, an the birds and the animals will eat your flesh, he said. David was not afraid. He said, today, God will use me to defeat you. Today, everyone will know that God of Israel is the true God. David knew that God would fight for him against this giant. Goliath started toward David and David ran toward Goliath, put his hand into his bag and he took one stone and he placed it into his sling and he flung it. God caused that stone to hit Goliath in his forehead so hard that Goliath fell on his face dead. God had defeated the Philistines once again because David trusted in him. While Goliath was on the ground, David ran and stood on him. And with Goliath's own sword, David cut off the giant's head. When the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they ran away and King Saul's army ran after them. David was only a young man when he stood against the Philistines, but he was sure of one thing. He knew that God would protect him and help him fight this battle. When you have God on your side, it does not matter what type of giants you may fight. It could be a bully. It could be anything. But it's our job to put our trust in God. And he will help us to defeat the giants that are in our lives. When we face some things that seem like giants in our week, if we just trust God and we pray, he will give us the courage to face the giant. So remember, my young people, even though you're young, and I know that I tell you all this all the time, even though you are young and you feel like you're little, God can even, just as he did David in this story, he was just a young boy. If you look at the pictures, you'll see David. He was just a young man. He couldn't even fit Saul's armor because he was too tiny and too small. But David just took five smooth stones and his little old slingshot. And this big old giant, the Lord gave David the strength to defeat him. So even though you feel that you might be too little and you're not, just as David, God would also give you the strength and the courage to face your giant. So remember, you are a giant slayer. I love you and I'll see you next Sunday.